Hello, welcome to this episode of the Sycamore Junior High Daily Video Announcements. Happy Terrific Tuesday. Today is October 8th. Hello, I'm Haley. And hello, I'm Robert. So we're Sycamore Junior High. Be safe, be responsible, be respectful, and be a problem solver. Thank you for doing the right thing and making good choices. Now it is time where we all stand with our fellow aviators, place our hands over our hearts, and say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. You all are terrific. Individuals, keep being terrific, you, and making this a great place to work and learn. Be responsible and remember to check your emails. Know your important emails and delete the old ones. Today's tip from our counselors, provide feedback. If you find something particularly helpful or challenging, let your teacher know. Feedback helps teachers understand how to best support you, which can benefit the whole class. And remember, as always, your teachers are here to help you succeed. Work to build strong connections and create a more positive and productive learning experience. Thanks, counselors, for these terrific tips. All right. All a building full of pink is stronger than you think. October is a Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Everyone wear pink tomorrow. That's Wednesday, October 9th, to support Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Just think to wear pink tomorrow. Okay, it's clubs and activity announcements time. Cheer tryouts information. Sycamore Junior High cheerleading. Open practice on October 16th, 3.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. meeting in the cafeteria. If you have questions, email emilyflennan at gmail.com or brooksbankk at sycamoreschools.org. Know your calendar. This Friday, October 11th, the first quarter grade period ends. Keep up your grades and finish the first quarter strong with hard work and determination. We have a four-day weekend this weekend. We have no school on Monday, October 14th. It is Teacher Records Day. And no school for students on Tuesday, October 15th for another Teacher Professional Learning Day. Wow, we get another four-day weekend. Lucky us. Mark your calendars for when we return to school next Wednesday, October 16th. It will be picture retake day for students and picture day for staff. On October 18th, the first quarter report cards will be posted online. And October 25th, students have no school due to K-8 conferences. Next, Next up, Students of the Week. Hey guys, Mr. Meyer here with Pinky. Uh, to do student of the week this week. So we have three amazing students this week. First we have Micah Wright right here. Micah was nominated by Miss Ennis. Uh, Miss Ennis and Micah is vibrant and has a great sense of humor. He is empathetic and always goes out of his way to help others. He has matured so much since starting at uh, SJH and she is excited to see him continue to grow throughout the school year. So Micah here is your um, Paper. Uh, next we have Sophia Meyer. Sophia was nominated by Miss DiOrio. Sophia is incredibly kind to others. She always has a smile on her face and a positive attitude. She is willing to work with everyone during science labs and activities and helps however she can. She's awesome. Sophia, there's yours. And last we have Maya. Maya was nominated by Miss Andriola. Maya comes into class every day with a smile, positive attitude, and self-motivation. She has the kindest heart with everyone in the room and strives to always do her best. She is always attentive and has a natural desire to learn and help others. She's an absolute delight to have in class. Let's give a round of applause to our students. Keep up the good work. Thanks, AP, Mr. Meyer, and wow, congratulations to our students of the week. Now over to Mr. Stern with our Athletes of the Week. Good afternoon, Aviator Nation. Mr. Stern here to do our last and final Athletes of the Week uh, for the fall season as we begin to transition to the winter season. Uh, just a couple of quick announcements. I want to put a big shout out to 
our girls' gold tennis team. They finished second at the GMC, beating both Mason teams, which was pretty amazing. And we also had two GMC finalists, or GMC champions, as, as we say. Um, Maddie was uh, the winner in second singles, and also Irina and Radhika in second doubles. Uh, they were also champions. So uh, of the five champions, we had two of them, which is pretty darn good. I um, also want to give a shout out to the seventh grade green volleyball team. They finished undefeated this year. Um, we, have, we have a member in here. So 13 and 0? Yeah. 13 yeah. and 0. So uh, they got a little bit of challenge in their last match, but they came through uh, quite strong at the end. So uh, congratulations to our seventh grade green volleyball team. Hey, we're um, starting to get some questions about basketball. Uh, when is basketball starting? Well, the key thing is make sure you are signed up in final forms. If you want information about when things are going to happen, you've got to be getting those emails from Final Forms. You won't get them unless you're signed up. So, uh, girls, it looks like you will begin open gyms on October 15th. That is a Tuesday. It will take place at the high school. It will be at the Gregory Center, and that will be from 4.30 to 6. And gentlemen, your season starts a bit later than the girls in the state of Ohio. Um, you are likely starting around October 28th, or at least today we're looking at October 28th, and we are looking at that happening here at the junior high from 5 to 6.30. So again, those are just for open gyms, just an opportunity to uh, let the coaches know that you're interested in basketball and let them uh, have an opportunity to see you um, in, in an open environment. Moving on, uh, I am sitting here with Andrew Poor, and I know you're watching this on Tuesday, but we're filming this on Monday. And uh, he and our other recipient of Athlete of the Week have GMCs tonight. So it is a big night for them over at Plains. Um, we feel like we're going to be very, very successful there tonight. Uh, they have run this course before, and they were very successful the last time. So this is from your coaches. Uh, this is Andrew Poor. Um, if you follow us on social media, you might be aware of some of the accomplishments of Andrew this season. It says, Andrew is a standout athlete who shows amazing strength and determination. His performances are impressive both on and off the cross-country course. His hard work and focus have led to big successes in his first year running cross-country. played football last year. Yeah. Is that correct? Andrew is not only a great athlete, but he also has strong character and a great attitude toward working hard. He sets high goals and puts in the effort to reach them. As a strong and steady runner, he's an important part of our team. He has placed first in all seven of our cross-country meets. Moeller Invitational, Loveland Invitational, Mason Invitational, Vic Roberts Invitational, Princeton Invitational, our home meet, the Stoneburger Invitational, and most recently at CHCA. He is ready to be a fantastic leader for the GMC race this afternoon at Lakota Plains Junior High. Congratulations, Andrew. <laughs> Andrew, you are you're doing some things that really have never been done here before. Um, I, I'd have to say that they are historic. Did you have any idea that running would be so easy for you? before you started this year. Just thought, looks kind of fun, I'll try it out? Yeah. Yeah, well, we're glad to have you. It's really worked out for Andrew and, and the team as well. Um, Andrew, your certificate, mm -hmm. and enjoy some Chick-fil-A on us. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. All right. Our second recipient is Ariana Hurst. She is a member of our girls' cross-country team, and they are having an awesome season as well. Ariana is a leader who sets a great example and boosts team spirit with her positive attitude and energetic personality. Now, let me ask you, are you guys still writing on each other? Um, yeah, I guess. Yeah? So, for those of you who don't know, the girls, mostly the girls, right? Yeah. Mostly the girls. Uh, they like to put a Sharpie on each other and write their positive messages or sometimes their little inside jokes and, and whatnot. It's been kind of going on for years, I've, I've noticed that. Her hard work shows in her tough training and strong competitive drive. Ariana has made amazing progress, especially after coming back from an injury that occurred early in her seventh grade season. She placed first at three of our meets this year. Now, this was written last week. 
If I'm not mistaken, did you place first at CHCA? Yeah. So she has placed first in four meets this year. Vic Roberts, Princeton Invitational, our home meet Stoneburger, and also CHCA. She is ready to be an outstanding leader for the GMC race tonight at Lakota Plains. Congratulations, that is awesome. Your certificate and enjoy Chick-fil-A on us. Thank you. Now we do have a third recipient, but she did not make it for whatever reason, but I do want to make sure that we honor her. Um, it is Deanna Wright. Uh, she is a member of our cheerleading squad. Deanna is a natural leader, which is why she was chosen as our captain this season. Deanna cares about her teammates and encourages them to work hard and reach their highest potential. She is dedicated, engaged, and truly cares about doing her best at practices and at games. Diani is a joy to have on our team. Big round of applause for Diani. We'll make sure she gets her certificate and her Chick-fil-A as well. Have a great afternoon, everyone. Thanks, and that's so awesome. Congratulations to our Athletes of the Week. Way to work hard to represent our school. Happy birthday to our only person celebrating today, Lucy B. Have a great day. Next up, joke of the day. Speaking of joke of the day in chemistry, I told a bad joke yesterday. How'd it go? I got no reaction. And I got another one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's all we have for today. Enjoy your day. Have a great week. Make positive PBIS choices. Always open your mind to new learning. Meet a new friend and go! go <laughs>